Hey there, terrific teachers and techies out there. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about a way, well, a hack, I guess, to lock images in Google Jamboard. So one thing with Google Jamboard is if you incorporate images and you want your students maybe to annotate over them or do something with those images, they aren't locked in a place. They could easily move them around or even resize them. And if the intent of your assignment is to work within the designated uh, shapes or images that you have, and you don't want them to change size in any way, uh, there isn't really a way to lock them. So this is a little bit of a hack um, that will help you somewhat lock in the place. It's not 100% foolproof, but it will certainly uh, make things a little easier and you won't have to worry as much about uh, things being uh, changed on you. So for example here, if I have this activity here where I want students to uh, maybe use the writing tool and to uh, show different ways they can represent one third in these various shapes, um, like they could do that with the pen here and say they're going to draw in and they would color one of them in, say, but if they were to move that around, move the uh, shape around, then it kind of gets off from what they created. So one thing that uh, I'm going to show you here is a way using text boxes to try and lock uh, some of those images in place. So what I do is I go down here to a text box, and then when you click on your jam, you notice the text box comes in, and then you just sort of go in and start resizing it. So you notice it kind of uh, stretches more in a rectangle shape than square. So I kind of keep doing this until I can cover this frame here. So it might take a few turns here. So you see, I'm just kind of dragging it from the corner, dragging it back. So I want it to kind of reach out and over like that. So you don't really see the text box. And I might, in fact, do this a second time. So I can bring in a second text box in, or you can duplicate um, the text box that you have if it's if you are able to find it, depending how far you stretch it. So this one, uh, it's a little bit trickier for me to find. So I'll just bring in a second text box, do the same thing, click, drag it out. So I'm just going to kind of keep stretching that out. And what that's going to do for me and for you, if you wanted to try this, is kind of put these invisible little layers over the shapes that you have. Oops, I'm gonna kind of go a little bit more, stretch that out, there we go. So you notice now I have two text boxes, you can't really see them. So now, if they had their pointer tool and they try to sort of grab that box, they can't. It's actually just grabbing that text box that's over. So I mean, they could, kind of figure it out and delete the text box and then do it again, delete the other text box. But this just sort of adds that little extra layer. So if they have the pointer tool, they can't grab any of those uh, shapes there. Okay. So then now they can just grab their writing tool and work away as they are instructed to do. So it's just a little hack, uh, a way that you can sort of protect uh, things you have on your jam working within a frame uh, and hopefully this will help you out if you're using Jamboard in that way.